McMillan. We're gonna make a drink. This is a curd pick. Why is my thing all messed up? What did you do, curd? Nothing. Where's the little stand that was there? It fell. We, you could have told me. Jamming his ice. Yeah. All right, we're making the painkiller, the 1970s edition. We have a painkiller on the show. It was like four years ago. People would complain. You didn't use orange juice, or you did use orange juice, or you didn't use pineapple. I don't know what the hell they're. You didn't is. get the genesis of the drink. Right. And I. I and who is the king of I, getting the genesis of the drink? I can't dance. I can't. The genesis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna make a drink. What are we okay. making? Uh, painkiller and nice chilled glass. This something is that we need to talk about real quick that kind of makes me. I really love that tiki mug, dude. Check it out. How this cool is, is that? This is the 60th anniversary of Body Glove. They went and had a design made. It's called the Shark Tiki. You can get them on AwesomeDrinks.com. This is my son's. He brought it down. I love it. Um, okay, so 1970 is the there. origin of this. This drink. This specific drink. What we need to put into reference is that 1970, the tiki thing was almost over with. Already? Yeah. Um, Sad. Trader Vic and Don the Beachcomber died dead. in the 80s. Oh. Okay. So I don't really think that this is is original real tiki. tiki. This is second make. generation tiki. This Can is like more that? like third gen tiki. Third gen tiki. We're now in fifth gen tiki, at least. This yeah. is like Magic the Gathering. Yeah. <laughs> This is fifth revision. Okay, so, so I'll start building it. All right, you start building it. I'll make you some. I'm gonna get some orange juice. You need an ounce of orange juice. Oh Jesus! Because if we don't, we're have gonna orange use juice. Myers, but I think you can use Appleton. It, it's a Jamaican thing, but the original recipe called for another brand, God, and I don't remember who it was. But um, I like Appleton. But Myers gets the job done just as easily. Um, oh, one ounce of cream de coconut. Dude, I'm making fresh orange juice a lot more often. Why you like it better that way? No, because this thing's awesome. It's like the size of my face. It crushes up oranges flat. That's not supposed to happen. So you don't like these ones, is that right? Is that one you said you managed to break one? Yeah, I've broken one of those. How do you break How do you this? break one of those? Do I know. You use it wrong? What do you, Hulk get mad? No, you just spend enough time in there like squeezing after a while and like it snapped right at the seam. But aren't they all eventually gonna break? I don't know, I don't know what their warranty is with these. Oh shit. I just started carrying them. Okay. These are expensive. It's yeah. like 40 bucks for this. Yeah. This. I know. Awesome. The, the best ones you can get are the stand-up metal ones. Those are. Amazing. I have a stand-up one, but I didn't bring that. No, down. no, like the ones that are like this. Tall. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But th that's that's I think even more money. Yeah, that's three hundred dollars. That's that's for bars. This is for humans. I don't know humans anymore. This is actually for. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is actually a little bit. I only needed a ounce. That is a ounce. Then, you know how to then that's all I needed. That's all I could make. It, used ex it made exactly <laughs> eight ounces. Curd, their purpose is to squeeze an orange, not to slay a cow. <laughs> I slay all my cows. <laughs> Really? Can I start shaking? Yeah, I'm just. I'm just. Oh, you working. know what? I've shaken all week. I'm working on my animated. Shake your shit. My animated. Shake gift. your shit, son. Did you watch my Tumblr page with all my animated gifts yet? I haven't seen them yet. Go, you guys in the stream, get to go to cmcocktail.tumblr.com and, and watch all my animations. Made for There you go. Oh. We gotta do a lot of shaking in this. It's kind of like the Ramos. The more shaking, you're gonna give it a lot more throb. Yeah, because it's got the cream in there. Yeah. yeah. You sell the cream too, right? I do. Nice. I go case. <laughs> sell the cream. Nope. Free go! <laughs> we had to get a whole case of new stuff. Now, I've already done my crushed ice and it's in here. Give me a second. I'm warming up my hands. Switch hands. Kurt is like, yeah, whatever. We yeah, got yeah. this. Oh, we're never gonna get that off. Wait, what? It has a, it's it's concave, so you have to. I I have tried to pull those things off. <laughs> well, my my brain actually rattled. You need some help with that? Oh, now you did it. What? You went and got it stuck. I got what stuck? Actually, got, got it off. off. Yeah. Oh, it'll come off. It's not, I mean, it doesn't wedge itself permanently. I'm gonna double so, strain because of the amount of shaking. And, what? Shaking? Did you just? No, I didn't. You did? No, I didn't. I see it right there for me. 
Oh, Holy shit. crap! You put a lot of ice in there, so it's all packed in. It's gonna sink. Yeah. We need a straw. We didn't get a straw. Can you? Yeah. That's why I put them all there. I should probably put my glass straws down here. That would be brilliant, huh? Oh, look at that rise to the top. It's like, oh, dude, my pants are tight. I need to try that. Here, and um, garnish, we're doing a flag. Wait, can you explain what a flag is? It is an orange Rapid made into a C with a toothpick with a chair in the middle. I know how to make a flag. Where you get all teeth. You just made it sound so much more like technical that you know how to make a flag. I'm like, you're gonna break a stick. You're gonna like, I'm like, is he gonna take this and like snap it so it comes over this way and out of no one? I'm like, no. you're just gonna bring and make a garnish. Yeah. Whatever. Is it just me, or do you notice that with a lot of these older tiki recipes... They taste like, uh, I want to say smoke. Yeah, but there's kind of like a weird, kind of like, they're all very much the same. Like, they all sit in a very close consistency. Yeah, but this has more coconut, because it doesn't, nothing, none of them bring coconut. I don't know any tiki, uh, tiki glasses that, tiki drinks that bring a lot of coconut, or use coconut that, without using actual coconut rum. Yeah. The, the, oh, this coconut. brings a thicker coconut, like, in-your-face sweetness, where coconut rum is, it's got the back-end alcohol. This should have more alcohol than it has. I don't get a lot of alcohol bite. No. Myers is, like, up in your grill, like, alcohol face punch. Yeah. Um, I don't taste the OJ at all in there. And it's natural OJ. I squeeze it myself. It's way too easy to drink. How much rum are we getting there? Two ounces. I know. This is, you, like, remember earlier in the last drink, I was like, I'd order one of these and that would be all I'd have? I order these all night. <laughs> <We'd> <laughs> like, be, bah, bah, bah. You'd be so wrecked. Oh, dude, in the sugar in there, I'd be like, yeah. ah! I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be renting limos, opening the thing, coming out the top, ah! Ah! Show my nipples. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put it out there right now. I know that this is one of Don's recipes, but like. My buddy Don? No, Don the Beach Comer. <laughs> But like legitimately, the fact that he built an entire segment of co like cocktail culture, and like he built it around the idea that you could sit in his bar all night long and just get annihilated. No, that's, that's what you want. I know, but that's what I'm saying. It was it was so genius. Yeah. No How one, no one since Beachcomber has ever built an entire subculture around the style because of their cocktails. Because it's illegal to make people that drunk nowadays. Yeah. But he wasn't giving you that drunk. Like, you weren't like. I, I don't know. I, I think that was just a different time period. It but was like, a different time period. no, no, it's not a different time period. Nothing to do with that. It's visionary. There's, I, dude, I was reading this article about like how <coughs> music sucks now, and and we don't have any more Jimi Hendrix type people and all these icons, and they're all there's nobody like that anymore today. And Michael Jackson was like the last. And I don't think we need it. We need a, like an icon for music. I think we need a new icon for for cocktails because. There, it's not like everybody just has all this like vision where they come out and they can do this, right? It's a certain type of person. Some people focus, like me, on, on hosting and videos, talking, presentations. But there are people, you, like bar scene, being, building, being able to build out like a whole theme around the... That's closer to what they would have been doing. Like yeah. This is like a, a, a visionary moment that nobody has yet to reproduce. I don't even know if this guy was out there to be able to create tiki. He probably just wanted his own kind of cool thing. He just right? wanted to have a place that was it, fun. And it just happened to grow into a culture. So now we look back go, oh, he was a god because he came up with all these great ideas, but he's just any other guy that just had a, a vision and it it clicked. And it, yep. It's yeah. like epic meal time, right? Who the heck is really going to make anything on this show with they make sandwiches this big? I but totally it's, think that we should do an apple, like, oh, epic epic so mealtime alcohol cocktail drink. You need to uh, say the recipe again for the shower. This is a painkiller. Oh, the actual recipe? No, the recipe. Uh, I can't see it. It's two ounces of Myers rum, one ounce of cream of coconut, four ounces of pineapple juice, one ounce of OJ. Crushed Shake. ice into a tiki mode. Right. Uh, With a flag, which is now. Like Kurt said, <laughs> you could. <yeah. laughs> it's down there somewhere. We'll get it eventually. The the rum, if you don't have Myers's, you could probably find something there. Appleton's. Appleton's. Yeah, Appleton's is good. Um, even Bacardi Dark, I guess. Yeah, you're into the Puerto Rican stuff then. If that's all you got, I guess you gotta work with it. It won't taste it. exactly like this, yeah. but if you wanna play along, you gotta do something. Um, oh, this is so nice. 
you got to use bacon vodka for an epic meal time thing. Yes. We really, yeah, we really should do, like, an epic meal time, like, punch bowl. Right. And it would have, like, bacon vodka. It would be more healthy. And we would, like, what would be the extreme? We'd use, like, a half a bottle of 151. That's not very extreme. <laughs> they would extreme. use four and hand them in one hand. <laughs> Straight them out. It would be the most expensive drink ever. It would. It would I need, so I need their billions of viewers so I can pay for all that. What would, would, would you call it an epic mealtime drink? or? Would, I don't know what you do about it. I don't know. Maybe. Epic cocktail yeah, time? If you call it epic mealtime, at least you get hits from the relevant <coughs> chart. Like on the sidebar, it'll come up with epic meal t- on epic mealtime's web page. They'd be so pissed. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I can... I can epic it's cocktail anyway. time. Yeah. Anyway. Um... I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, because people come up with all these these crazy ideas. I think eventually somebody will come up with something new. Well, it'll spawn off new glassware or something. We just don't know what it's going to be yet. And we need that person to be born. Maybe they're here. They're just waiting. Maybe they're them. sitting next to you. Maybe, they're, <laughs> Maybe he's right here. He's going to unleash himself like something from the thing. <laughs> it was not smart to give me a bar in the South End. That was not smart. We'll see. We'll see. I think you should make your own fish. Everything should just be sharks. <laughs> all the drinks should be named after sharks. And all of the drink that glasses would be cool. will be sharks. It'd be like the, 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 the theme is the them. Shark Week bar. Yes. Jaws. Every, I mean, the glasses would just be sharks. Like the. I love the this tiki glass. I think it's amazing. The only doubt, I mean, it's good for column size, but it doesn't have the epic size that some of the other ones have. So this is a little more restrained. It is still big. It's still like 15 ounces. How much more do we have? Yeah. Nothing. I drank it all. Okay, good. <laughs> this should give you an idea. Normally, me and Derek don't like go to town on what we're drinking during the show. I'm just trying to save some so that Jennifer or drink some. So <coughs> Jennifer doesn't drink it all and then complain that she's tired. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a. Service. We're doing it for her. Right. That's it. You know what this needs? This needs bitters. Question of the day. <laughs> uh, citra, uh, grapefruit bitters. Question of the day. Um, what's your favorite themed restaurant? Okay. I like. Do, I, she's gonna say what I'm gonna say. What do you like? She's gonna say Rainforest Cafe. Yes. You've got to be kidding me. That place is awesome. I love the Rainforest Cafe. The food is so bad. It's horrible. It is horrible. It, so how would that be your favorite place? Because it's Where else you go where you see that crazy stuff? Uh, okay. There's a place in Colorado called Casa Bonita. We're not in Colorado. We've never been to Colorado. It's the best theme restaurant ever. But what? it's the the theme is cool. I the, will agree. The no, food this is beats. Great. This is like the food's like eh. But They're it's, all it's Mexican, but it's Mexican, eh, so I can make it work. No, I, yeah, I can do But, Mexican. like, they have cliff divers inside. Oh, sweet. Yes. That would be cool. Well, look, Rainforest Cafe in Disney is much better because you're yeah. in Disney and you're like, I want something. Oh, Rainforest, you go in there, you've, you've just had you had all this theme craziness from Disney and you sit no. down in Rainforest, you're, like, drinking your cocktails and just relaxing with your, like, dinosaur chicken nuggets or whatever. <laughs> but you get, like, the food's awful, but when you're there, it's a state of mind. When you do it here in Methuen or whatever. Burlington. Burlington. I'm just trying to think. What, it what's costs, the... like, $70 to go out there with four people. Is there any themed restaurants no. in Boston? Somebody's going to help me. Yes, yeah, so it's a speakeasy. Besides Rainforest Cafe, I don't know. If... Rainforest There's Cafe. Be... You know, well, all... yeah, the steakhouses, like, those are themed. Oh, Bugaboo Creek yeah, with like all Bugaboo the talking Creek. moves. Those don't exist anymore. Yeah, they do. They're gone. Those. No, there isn't XS6. There's one of XS6. No, there's one of XS6. We were just there. I thought the whole company I said, folded. No, I thought it did so too. Did I. It's, it's still not. there. It's still there. I don't know why. Okay. You better go before it's out. It's like a collector's edition. <laughs> I know. I just, I like run in. I'm like, sell me all your t-shirts. I'm going to sell on eBay. Um, so there. Question day. Best theme restaurant. Second to that, best theme, uh, what do you call it? Bar. Oh, kind of fits. Dude, I got a great one. Um, I was watching, you know, Bar Rescue, the John Taffer television show. No. Okay. Anyways, he does now. Yeah, there. You know, he goes in and fixes like really bad bars. Well, it was someplace like Maryland. There was a pirate bar. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Oh, cool. All pirates. You had to go yeah. to dress like a. Pirate. No, the the dudes that worked there had like eye patches, and they like they really thought nice. that they were pirates. Did they only serve serve rum drinks? They served a thing called grog. Maybe grog. Yeah. But it was like. It was not like the original recipe for grog is just like a, like two ounces of rum, it's and then this. like water. It's like all the rest is water, and then you just stir it up and make it work. The <laughs> it um, needs bitters. these dudes that were making this grog, they had this like huge like beer mug, and they were just like, and they were just dumping booze. Dry in ice smoking out of the top. It, it, it looked really bad. It was really bad. Pirate themed bar that was pretty cool. 
Steak? You know, you th you, the problem is, is that places like that kind of have the same thing as the hibachi places. Like you go in once and you're good. Yeah, you, don't, you, you go don't in once a year. Like they're expensive. Theme bars don't get return business. Oh. Right. Well, you know, I, well, I guess if they were good, I still they love would, my idea. I still think that that's going to be amazing someday. Don't say okay. it. Yeah, don't say it. I'm only going to say it. We're done! Austin Drinks. Wait, no. That's everydaydrinkers.com. I was going to say, Austin Drinks, you want to get this. I want to see. Or these. Coyote Ugly. It has a themed bar. I think I, it already started. I think that's already. done. Yeah. I believe there was it one in Boston. There used to be one. Really? There was one in Boston? Yeah. Really? And then it turned into Hooters, and then it turned into nothing. That's what yeah. happens when Hooters comes in town. If you can't see it, if, if all you can see is what it looks like with the clothes on, nobody wants to see you it. You know, I, I am totally for the nude no, bars. No, I'm, I'm totally bars for. for the strip club. I'm totally for no, the fact just that for, just the for bars. selling sex to people is awesome. a, is a cheap way of making a buck. Mm -hmm. But like the way that Hooters runs itself, it is a really good franchise. Yeah. yeah. I've seen Undercover Boss. Yeah, we we'll watch that. Like the, we'll watch that. the the detail that they have on like keeping their employees to like a, a checked like you'll you'll I honestly don't think that you could go into a Hooters and have bad food because they're Wings. so checked. Yeah. They're like so time oriented and they're so like managed to the moment and like everything is very detail oriented that it's very difficult to get bad food at a Hooters. Question of the day number two: Have you ever had bad food from Hooters? <laughs> Yeah. I don't even think I've been to Hooters. I've been to Hooters. She's been to Hooters and I've never been to Hooters. They have women there right here. Yeah. Best what? bachelor party to, ever. Yeah. No, I've been to Hooters with like an 18 year old boy who was like drooling. I'm and like, it wasn't really even me. Dude. When, when is Liam going to get that experience? Yeah. Right now. Taking him to Hooters. Okay, close right. it out. Hey, right, you know what? We're done. Oh, there you go. It's in Las Vegas and New York, New York Hotel. See, she she, she always ugly. keep me to the thing, and then she. Yep. <laughs> I'm in the we good now. I know. Good. How are you? Would you try to drink? <laughs>